The new year starts now. So I'd like to encourage, set a very simple goal for the year. And one of the ways you can set your goal is to just make it smart like we encourage. Let it be specific, let it be measurable, let it be something that is achievable. Let it be something that is realistic and then it's time bound. Uh, one of the goals you can set actually is your work with God. What you desire about God this year? Uh, how do you desire your Bible study life to be? How do you des desire your meditation in the world to be? How do you want to grow in your spiritual life, growth in character? Set a goal for that. Set a goal for your family. The family is key to the stability in our society. Set a goal for time out. It may not be a trip to London, but it can be to Republic of Benin, or it can be to Elisha, Lagos, or Lagos, Nigeria. So what? Set time out for recreation this year. What about your business? How much do you desire to make in the new year? Uh, can you break it down weekly, monthly, quarterly, bi-monthly, and just believe God? Set a goal in your career path. There are professional qualifications to be taken. So I believe that as we set these little goals in different areas, it's going to be an amazing year for us. Let me also say to us that the seed of everything God is going to do in our life is the Word of God. So I'm especially inviting each person as we impregnate ourselves with the seed of the Word at our World Conference that is coming up in a few days. Be prepared for it. Let your heart be open. And then take those three days of fasting to be a preparation of heart. Desire newness in your life. The old things have passed away. Everything is going to be made new only if you and I can cooperate with it.